Alabama beat Georgia, which in turn, in my eyes, they win the SEC championship. Yes, they had the blunder against Texas, but they also weren't. I mean, that was week four, right, or week five, whatever it was. Early on in the season, I get it, it's still a loss. But at the end of the day, they were the top team in the SEC. What? Right? Okay, what about the Auburn game? What about the four, If that fourth and 31 didn't happen, Anthony, we wouldn't be talking about this. That, that, that's semantics. That's you semantics. Can't, you can't say that in sports. You know that, J.D. <laughs> you cannot say that in sports. You can't say it, though. I mean, listen, it's not like they dominated. They should have lost that Auburn game, but they didn't lose it. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, I, I, I get that 100%, but they won it. They did. It's my thing. And, I, and that's the only team that I could see being left out. I don't think Texas is a powerhouse team that they, that they you know, have been or have been, you know, um, brought up to be. Um, I don't think Quinn Ewers is that good. And I also don't think that FSU should be in because – The quarterback. The quarterback. And, and that's but, it. Okay. If, if Jordan Travis you think is Jeff- the quarterback – is who is, is who's quarterback? Go, what? I said if, if Jordan if Jordan Travis was their quarterback, they would have beaten Louisville by a lot more than ten. Right, and they would have thrown for way more than fifty five yards. Right, and it's just it it sucks for them, and I get it, you know, because I was there, I was watching FSU all year, you know, they were they were playing well, they you know they got bumped down from four to five, um, right when Jordan Travis got injured. So right there, told you, you know, hey, we're not going to put them in the college playoff, even if they win. Okay. So it was really, you know, the chaos that happened on that Saturday. Um, I, I just don't – I don't know. I think Georgia should have made it. Um, and I think Alabama should have made it, and which they did. But but I I had originally thought that Bam, uh, Georgia can't drop from one out. You can't go undefeated regular that's, season. That's, that's another reason. That's another reason, correct. And you lose by three. How do you get dropped correct. out? But I thought right. Texas, but I thought, game. I understand it was early season, but I felt head-to-head has to mean something. If not, then why do they play the games? So that's why I thought Texas makes it over Bama, but then Bama okay. beat, that's what I felt. I, I, I can get behind that. I, I, don't, I don't hate it. I'm a Notre Dame fan, so like, you know, at the end of the day, like, we're just going to keep getting quarterbacks to transfer portals anyway, so, you know, <laughs> we're going to get uh, Riley Leonard from Duke and whatever. Um, I Listen, but, I thought uh, that, that Ohio State game this year, Pissed me off. I thought you guys should have beat Ohio State. That oh, game was bullshit. God, that would have that that turned the whole season around. Whole season around. around. I mean, yeah. That, that would have given them so much more confidence. And I, I guess as soon as they lost that game, they were like, all right, we're not making it. Right? So, right. You know, at the end of the day, I mean, I love our coach. Um, and I don't hate Sam Hartman. Um, he was an over machine in Wake Forest and then, you know, decided to, to play, you know, way better teams at Notre Dame. And, you know, didn't play as as well as I would hope, um, but you know what I mean. At the end of the day, I thought you know, you, he's my quarterback. Yeah, but I thought I thought Hartman was. Yeah, I really thought Hartman was going to really was going to solidify because you got a veteran in there, and I thought he was okay. And you, you guys lost to Louisville, right? Did you lose to Louisville? Yes. Yeah, we we got we got trounced by Louisville. You got trounced by Louisville. Was, that was a a game that I'd like to forget. I know. So, I mean, next year, I mean, I, I guess you're going to see who. But you, you, the thing about it is you're not getting the guys because of the academics, I think. I don't think you get the guys right. because, you know, a guy could go to Bama and he can major in um, nothing. He majors in football. Right. 100% right. I mean, I don't think a lot of these guys go to class. I, I, got, I really got to be honest with you. I mean, a lot of these kids, I think the football is the major and they take uh, classes enough to stay eligible yeah. and that's it. And then they leave with like a year of credits or something. So, I mean, yeah, I mean I that, agree. So I, I feel like you're never going to have that team again. I, maybe. I'm, you know what? But now you, next year's going to help. you got 12 teams. So next year's going to help you guys that you could, get in the, you could get in the playoffs next year. I mean, if you would have oh, yeah. lost, even if you would have beaten Louisville, 10-2 and two would be enough to get into the, the playoff, in my opinion. Because I think Penn State yeah, sucks. It was, just, it was a, lot of, uh, a lot of teams this year. I mean, they were all, you know, 11-0 or 12-0 or 11-1. You know, all these teams, like, they were, you know, they played their, their hearts out. And right. they won all these games. And the college football playoff committee was not expecting that at all. So Yeah, they were hoping that a couple teams would lose at the end of the year so they would have it easier. But I felt, right. I mean, I, I just thought Texas had a head. That's why I had them. And I, and I didn't think, I thought Georgia, yeah, I mean, I think they had four teams to pick and they couldn't really decide and... 
Yeah, Far- I, I don't I don't see how Georgia gets bounced from one, and especially going all the way down to to what they get to seven or six. Right. You know, behind FSU, like I I, I understand that you know they're still not behind FSU. I I just like I get it. They're thirteen and zero, and they won their conference, whatever. But Georgia is Georgia, you know. Right. Right. Georgia is and Georgia. I feel like right, and I feel like they put Alabama at four. And Michigan at one. Obviously, Michigan's one, no matter what. Okay, but okay, no so let me ask you a question. Do you think Michigan's the best team in the country? Because I think I think Bama can beat them. I, I, my, I think Bama can beat them as my well. My girlfriend went to Michigan. We watch every, Anthony, every fucking game I watch. Right. J.J. McCarthy's not a good quarterback. And I'm, they're going to need no. him against Bama. And you give Saban a month, I will take Saban any day with a month of preparation. I think I think Michigan's right. going out in that first game. I really do. And they can't... They can't uh, they can uh, just run Blake Corum every, no. every second. No, and he hasn't uh, looked good. Game, so. He hasn't looked great this year. He's had moments, no. but he is not. He was a better back last year than this year. I, and and I think, last year he got hurt. Yeah, and he got hurt last year. I think. Right. I think Michigan is in the. I think the Washington Texas game is going to be interesting because I think either of those teams could win. Could win, and then I. I just don't know. How, I feel like they won eleven in a row, Bama, and I'm just like, is if they reached their. I mean, they are playing. I didn't think they were going to do. Half, did you think they win eleven games this year? You think they'd be this far? No. I thought no, not, they looked terrible. Once they lost to Texas, yeah. I thought they were done. And then they played USF. And then they had the QB carousel. Yeah. That was that was uh that was a, uh, a nightmare in its own right. But and 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 now and now they're they're, they're playing. I mean, how does he get that the talent? He's the best coach in football, in my opinion. Best. I would love oh, him to easily. be my coach. Easily. Easily. So he's he should he's never going to go. I don't think he's ever going to make the jump from college to NFL. No, not I after. I know that he was Miami. in the NFL before. No, the right. Dolphins was a, a shit right. show. Shit show. Right. And he was with the Browns, right? I believe. Yeah, and the no no, well he coached. So he worked with um he worked with Belichick. 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 Right. But what, what you know, I was my, my father and I was always joking. Go, you think he pays for a car? You think he pays for a meal? He does not pay for anything down there. And he's and he oh, makes no. Nope. Everything is paid for. He he's walks in any restaurant. He's a god. He Why a would god. you leave a place you are a god? Right. I would never leave. Right. Good Especially god. Getting all this money, you know, and and knowing how much uh, reputation you have and you hold. I mean, it's it's clear. You know, they they wouldn't have been you know in this in this playoff without Nick Saban as their head coach. No. It, it, you know, they wouldn't have known what to do with the quarterback. Nothing. So. so that's that's all. I'm, I'm, uh, he hasn't played that kid. Milro is a is a big kid. I mean, I I, I saw him talking. Yeah. He is a big and he. I'll tell you, he when he had to make the plays when they had to make. I mean, I was blown. I was like, when they were beating Georgia, I go, they're going to pull this out. And I was like, they totally outplayed Georgia. Right. They totally outplayed him. So I right. I, I don't want to get my girlfriend all upset, but I, everybody I talk to, I go, Michigan's going down. <laughs> I said Michigan's going down. I think Bama. I, I yeah. I think. I don't think that they're the, the team that, that everyone thinks they are. No. That's, that's my they opinion. were better last year, and then they lost right. to TCU, which they shouldn't have lost to. But last year, I mean, and that's another thing. I don't think that, I don't know about you, Anthony. I think there's no really powerhouse this year, so anybody could win it. Like, you know. Right. Yeah. So. I, I just, yeah. I mean, and that, that's really really all I got for tonight. Um, that's I'll all right. back up uh, when, I'm, when I'm out of work, uh, but. Uh, always a pleasure talking to you and uh, Anthony, to you, brother. Anthony, man, thank you. Anytime you, you want to come it, on, bro. you come on anytime. Appreciate it, man. All right, hey, have a good one. Thanks for chatting. Thanks, you got it. So it just keeps it just it's just beautiful. Everybody's coming on. Rob, Rob Murray, Yak, my man, Pots and Pants. <laughs> all these guys, I don't know anybody. These guys are, but I love that all the the company just keeps on coming through, coming through, and coming through. Josh, how about that? All right. And uh, what did I see from, uh, yeah, uh, I saw that about, I was talking about Bama, uh, New Mexico hired Bronco Mendenhall. I thought Bronco Mendenhall, he retired 2021 from UVA, was at BYU for 15 years. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Yeah, wait, I'm, I'm sorry, sorry. He was at BYU, 11 straight bowl games, and then he resigned, went to UVA, three bowl games in five years, resigned. Now he's going to go to New Mexico, which is kind of two bowl games in the last 15 years. So I was talking to I was talking to Anthony about Michigan. Bama has played Michigan. This is going to be their sixth meeting. Bama's won the last. Bama's up 3-2, going to game six. We watched, I remember, the 2020 Citrus Bowl. Shea Patterson, Michigan quarterback, sucked. 
and Bama blew them out 35-16, a, a year where they weren't that good. Uh, they finished 11-2 that year, but they had two losses. They weren't playing for a national championship in the 2019. Didn't have a great season, and they blew 